Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. It's a pleasure to have you here. Welcome. Today, as you saw in the title of this video, we will be talking about karma versus the law of attraction. Which one has more power? If you've ever been wondering which one has more power, is it the law of attraction or your previous karma? Which one is it? Which one has more weight, if you will? whenever you're making the decision to manifest or whatever you embark in the process of manifestation. So we have two separate things, right? Karma has to do with the past. And then we have um, the law of attraction or manifestation, which is sort of a very present in the moment kind of thing with the view, of course, of the future, with the perspective of attaining something in the future. Now, when we come to talk about those two terms, let's just start by defining what karma is first, right? Because I think most of you guys know, so if you're watching this video, you kind of know what the law of attraction is and, you know, the, the, the technique that it involves the manifestation, uh, whether you've learned it through Esther Hicks or Abraham or through other methods, right? Many people have written about it, but I would probably say the original um, content, if you will, the original speaker of this matter would be Abraham uh, to Esther Hicks. So uh, credits to them. Um, so having said that, karma is the past. Law of attraction is the present involving the future. Now, karma also has to do with the future and the present even, because what you're living right now is the circumstances that resulted from just previous actions. Uh, previous lifetimes. If you believe in previous lifetimes, this will help you a lot. If you don't, this might be challenging your understanding of things a little bit, all right? Uh, so keep an open mind if you're still not understanding quite or not quite yet sure how or about previous lifetimes. I will have this exposition based on the understanding that you already have a basic understanding and knowledge of past lives and past karmas. So having said that, Karma's actions that we have done in the past that have created a certain circumstances in our current present, and it will create also certain circumstances in the future, right? Some of those circumstances are happening right now. Some of them will happen later. And what we create right now, also whatever we do or we don't do these days, will also have a resonance that will impact on the future, right? Might be immediate future, you know, when we say instant karma, you know, sometimes it happens, you do something, and within the hour, you get the payback, you know, you get the, you, get the, you know, the balancing. I don't like to say the payback. That's wrong of me to say it or call it the payback. It's the balancing, right? So if you took something, it needs to be put back, right? Uh, if you heard something, that needs to be put back, all right? So having said that, karma are all those previous circumstances which you did, all those previous actions, I'm sorry, previous actions that you did, uh, previous thoughts, previous words that you enunciated, right? All those things that you may have communicated, right? And good or bad, of course, um, good actions, good thoughts, good um, communications would bring sweeter results. That is, the, that is a fact, you know? Um, and if you bring bad actions, you know, um, you know, when you see all this, for example, you know, when you see, look at the news and these criminals and getting in jail and whatnot, right? Um, well, that's the result of the actions, right? Um, that's sort of like the rebalancing of the equation, if you will. But what happens if you are trying to get to the law of attraction and you find you don't get that many results? What happens there, right? What is the, what's the element? Um, so for many of us, you know, um, including myself, you know, we have uh, dealt with maybe bouts of depression, bouts of um, anxiety. And what that does, it doesn't let you think clearly, right? If you have experienced those, you know how you feel and how hard it is to put your thoughts together or get out of the loop that you're running in, right? That's a very hard thing to do, to get out of the loop here. And there are methods that we will talk about in other videos, but, you know, it's not an instant thing. You're like, oh, I'm just going to get out of this mood, right? No, it doesn't quite happen like that. So with the impact of this law of attraction coming into our lifetimes, uh, which is a phenomenal knowledge to have, it really is, um, many people feel like whatever they're doing is just not paying off, 
right? Many people feel that um, I am working, I am concentrating, I'm thinking, I'm writing, and you do get some results. I, I think for most people that is true, you know, but the question is, why don't I get those full results that you see in some people, right? Why don't I get, you know, if you ever been to actually an Abraham workshop, um, in the days that I used to have it in person, I, I, went, I went to quite a few, um, and they're lovely, by the way. But, you know, you see these people that come to what they call the hot chair, which is, you know, where Abraham sits and chats with them in front of the audience. And and you have these people say, oh, I, I, been practicing the love attraction, I opened this business and then that one closed and I opened that one and I have this relationship and I have this beautiful um, relationship and I attracted the mate of my life. And and you go like, wait, what? Like, how did it happen? <laughs> and you understand why it happened because they need the love attraction, but it doesn't happen to, I feel like it doesn't happen to everybody all the time. And the reason is, I think, it's not a flaw in the law of attraction. I don't think the flaw is there. What we fail to understand is the weight, you know, the heavy weight of karma. Let me put an example for you guys. So let's say you, in a previous lifetime, right? You made a living, let's say stealing money from people, right? We don't know what we were in lifetimes. We might be very good now, but you know, um, whatever good we have achieved now, most likely came from lots and lots and lots of errors in the past, right? So it wouldn't be completely out of thought to think that in previous lifetimes, maybe not just the last one, but in previous ones, we were not particularly good people, you know? Uh, we may have been robbers, you know, we might have been, you know, people who did not good. So long story short, here you are in the previous lifetime where you made a livelihood out of stealing taking things away from people. Here you are in this lifetime and you come across law of attraction. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna do that. Cause you know, uh, for most people anyway, um, I wanna say probably 90% of people, they use it for manifesting abundance, right? It's not the only thing that it can be used for, but probably a good chunk, 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 chunk that the people use it for that purpose. So what happens when you're trying to here you are you know manifesting and thinking and feeling and doing all the works and doing the notes and doing all the things that you can possibly do to manifest that abundance what happens is those actions that you did in the past still need to be paid off that all the whole bunch of money that you took from people from people's lifetimes is still need to be paid off not to these souls maybe in this particular lifetime but Universally speaking, you know, you took something from the universe. Now something needs to get back, right? So most likely, law of attraction is going to be very difficult for you to manifest in that particular sense, let's say of money, because you have a previous karma, previous decisions that you made that are not necessarily going to allow for abundance in this lifetime. You follow me? So what you did in the past which we don't know, by the way, right? Um, unless you have, you know, psychic sense and you can somehow see, um, you know, past lifetimes. But my guess is if you all have those qualities, you probably don't need to watch this video. Most of us don't have those virtues or qualities, so we need to learn and we need to talk about this. Um, so I would say that that specific weight of karma is heavy and it won't particularly allow for you to gain that manifestation so readily, so quickly in this lifetime. It may happen, you know, but it may take a lot of work. Or, you know, depends again how much karmic weight you have on your shoulders, right? So the lighter the weight, probably you can rebalance the equation easier or faster or with not so much effort. If you have a heavy, heavy karmic weight, then you really need to rebalance with a lot of work, a lot of concentration, a lot of those things. So in my point, what I wanna say is probably, I think karma has a heavy weight on your manifestation and your abundance, but do not let that discourage you because doing those thoughts, doing those positive affirmations, doing those positive thinkings, accrue to your positive karma, okay? Those are good actions, you know. Um, 
might be a little bit self-interested, but again, you know, we have to start somewhere, right? It might be better, let's say, if you wish for other for others to receive that fulfillment, right? Um, but again, you know, if you're not there yet, start with yourself. Begin with offering yourself to the law of attraction. We're offering, offering your thoughts, your concentration, your focus, whatever you want, um, whatever works for you to gain that perspective of manifesting. Just understand, I would say, if you have noticed that you try and try and try and it's kind of not happening and you see other people that just go like, oh, I just did it for two months and I get this, 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 that, right? Um, they have a different karma than you do, right? Um, they also have different lessons to learn, right? We don't know what happens after they get that money, after they get that abundance, you know? Everyone talks about when they get it, but no one really talks about what happens afterwards. And those are different lessons that are very particular to the individual and we don't necessarily have to go into them unless they want to talk about it. If you're in that loop of I'm trying to manifest and you manifest some, but not quite as brilliantly as others, I'm very curious to know um, what your process is. And if you have any questions about it, I'd, I'd be really curious. So leave it in the comments if you have any questions or if you have any insights of how this has affected you. Because it's one thing that no one talks about. Everyone talks about law of attraction manifesting, but no one really talks. I don't, I haven't seen anything talking or anyone talking about, um, that background, that invisible background that is karma and how that actually affects your capability or your capacity to manifest. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this material. If you like, please subscribe, do a like, and let me know how you like this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, guys. Thank you.